Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> I'm Jenny Minetti Shippy. I am an adjunct professor here at the Department of English and Comparative Literature. And I'm very glad to be here today to learn from my colleagues and from my students and also be able to share a little bit about my own work. One of the ideas circulating our university right now is the idea of the teacher scholar. In fact, next week, the SDSU president and the provost will host a special lunch so we can hear what they think being a teacher scholar actually means. I don't think that that's the most effective phrase to use to define my own work at or around SDSU. I think a more useful idea for me is that of a manager, facilitator, poet, because it's more specific and more tangible. I manage the production and publication of Poetry International, a literary journal staffed by graduate and undergraduate students of the English department. We publish annually-ish, featuring newly translated work from countries like Iran, Scotland, China, and Sweden. Poetry International also runs an extensive blog. My note here says display. Hosts on-campus readings and works in collaboration with area <coughs> arts organizations, like the San Diego Poetry Annual and the Museum of the Living Artist. In my classrooms, I facilitate experiential education. Students in my literary publishing and editing course host publishing salons, make print chapbooks, and develop online literary reviews, such as Hinged, the Journal of the Converging Arts. In these journals, students have interviewed best-selling authors, published their own reviews of contemporary literature, and gained practical skills to move into a career in publishing, including amassing hundreds of Twitter followers, which we all know is very important. Um, graduates of the class have gone on to internships with HarperCollins, The Zach Company, and IDW Publishing. Beginning next year, the course will expand into a two-part experience, with the students of the spring semester running a small press. Um, the course will then serve as the foundation of our new creative publishing and editing minor. Still wearing my facilitator hat, I work as the co-founder and co-director of Poetic Youth. Poetic Youth provides free writing workshops to underserved communities in San Diego <coughs> through partnerships with organizations like the Sudanese American Youth Center and the Monarch School. Poetic Youth facilitators, which are comprised of graduate and undergraduate students as well as local volunteers, have led workshops for more than 700 youth during the past year. Recently, we launched this lovely website, uh, which we're developing into a resource for other community arts organizations by publishing our lesson plans, here, our operations manuals, and student work from our program participants. Poetic Youth is a recognized student organization at SDSU, and I'm excited to continue to develop the program. So then the question is, how does all this varied work relate to the final item on my list? How can my other jobs feed my life as a poet? I have a poem, Sales Pitch, which borrows its first line from a poem written by a participant in a Poetic Youth workshop at the Sudanese American Youth Center. It was published in the San Diego Poetry Annual and I've performed it at the Museum of the Living Artist. I wanna share this poem because for me, it illustrates the ways that these various facets of my professional life cooperate with each other. Sales pitch. The opposite of a lion is a Lamborghini. Although a Lamborghini also roars or purrs, as the car dealers say when they want to sell you a vision of your future, a future you could purchase in which beautiful young men with tawny coats lounge on the savanna of your pool deck, sweating as you are sweating. The pool's promise, it's blue as big as the sky, the shock of water on your skin like the shock of skin on your skin, all those shiny promises to be touched or loved forever. In this future, you are dancing under a night pelted with stars, the soft, dark down of the night. All the stars are whispering, making noises like applause. Like you arrive to the future in a roaringly black car, not alone. Your gold hair is in the breeze, 
the huge and relentless hunger of salesmen and savannas all forgotten you, you will be so happy. Just wait. You will. Thanks, you guys.